Gentle Criminal and La Brava are a duo of criminals serving as the antagonists of the school festival arc in My Hero Academia. They come equipped with some cool quirks and with the goal of making Gentle a memorable villain certain to go down in history. Gentle and La Brava's origins are humble for sure. No dead people in their past, only dead dreams. For Gentle, real name Danjuro Tobita, he wanted to be a great hero and he wasn't ready to give up. He was one of those never give up type students. It got so bad that he failed the provisional license exam four times. He was held back and was being advised to drop out of school. His poor mother was crying as she watched all of this. But gentle, he wouldn't give up. He was going to show the world he could still be a hero. He one day saw a man falling to his doom and made the judgment call to save him. But that didn't work out. He got in the way and got charged and was eventually kicked out by his parents due to the trouble that he caused. The final straw for him was when he saw his former classmate as a hero, only to have said classmate admit that he didn't know who Gentle was. And just like that, Gentle was forgotten. From there, seeing that he couldn't be remembered as a hero, he decided he'd go down in the annals of history as a great gentleman criminal. Emphasis on the gentleman part. Gentle went about committing petty crimes and uploading them to the internet to get notoriety, but there was a twist. He went after corporations or groups that he determined were acting in bad faith. In other words, he was playing up that Robin Hood type angle. Even as a criminal, he was a criminal that wanted to change the world. That said, Gentle was notoriously small time. It's part of the reasons as to why people didn't like his videos that much. Anyway, it's through those videos that he met La Brava, real name Manami Aiba. La Brava's story starts when she was in middle school and overheard her crush mocking her love letter. She worked hard on that letter, like 12 pages of it in fact, uh, and that killed her on the inside to see it just laughed at, and she pretty much became a shut-in with suicidal thoughts. One day, she saw a gentle video and in her words, found her light. Enamored with gentle, she used her epic hacking skills to find gentle, went to him, and then convinced him to let her work together with him. In present time, Gentle and La Brava are enjoying bouts of viral internet fame for their recorded crimes, with Gentle being the frontman and La Brava handling the editing and distribution. At the time, the police are also after them, trying to track them down, while La Brava obfuscates the trail. Gentle's not too satisfied with their current life, however, and wants to change. He wants to do one big job, targeting UA on the day of the festival. If he breaks into UA and streams it online, he's certain people will remember him. This desire puts him in direct conflict with Izuku. In terms of combat, Gentle and Labrava make a deadly team. Much like the setup for their videos, Labrava supports Gentle while Gentle does the heavy lifting. Gentle, even though he has failed at being a hero, has incredible quirk control. Like holy, his quirk is elasticity. Anything he touches can be turned elastic. From what we've seen, he can do this with any limb, even if it's covered with clothing. There seems to be a somatic component, but there's not enough scenes to confirm that. It may just be he touches it and it's good to go. So pretty much just assume anything he touches except for human bodies can be made elastic, so no Luffy's being made in Hero Academia. In exchange though, he can make even thin air elastic. Gentle's quirk and his mastery of it is what makes his fight so cool to watch. You've got this guy jumping around, using the environment in such cool ways, constantly coming up with new ways to counter Izuku and constantly keeping Izuku on his toes such that you get a level of choreography and a length of fight that you don't see that often here at Academia. Gentle's quirk doesn't seem to be one that Gentle can just deactivate, which makes things more interesting since if Izuku can track the quirk, he can use the elasticity as well. All in all, Gentle has an interesting quirk with incredible mastery too that can change the battlefield itself. His quirk requires that he be tactical, and he's shown that he can be. One of the best moments I think being flinging Izuku into a pocket of air that he elasticized a while ago with perfect trajectory. The man is skilled. In terms of super moves, he has a few. They are called Gently Rebound, Gently Sandwich, and Gently Trampoline. So with the acrobat that is gentle, how exactly does Labrava help? Labrava's quirk lets Gentle power up for a period of time, the degree of increase being proportional to her love for Gentle. What this does is that it lets Gentle actually go fist to fist against Izuku. Usually, however, Labrava uses this to help Gentle make clean getaways when he's being chased by heroes. At this point, we should probably talk about the cool things and the facts that this pair of villains bring to the story. Gentle and Labrava boast a strong romance plotline, so when you see them in the anime, you're going to see the characters 
players reflecting on how much the other means to them. It's really heartwarming, especially when it comes to Labrava, who would do anything for Gentle. Appearance-wise, Gentle and Labrava definitely sell the image of fancy villains, but what I want to point you to are the lines that Labrava developed on her face. Gentle didn't want Labrava to feel bad, so he sharpied himself with those same marks. Gentle also really loves tea. It's actually really funny. Gentle's love for tea is what got him into his confrontation with Izuku. The irony man, how could the tea betray him? Gentle and Labrava also carry a distinction of being the only major villains Izuku has encountered that have no connection to the League of Villains. Another thing about Gentle to note is that Gentle doesn't like violence. He usually prioritizes rebounding attacks back at enemies. It's how he took down a bunch of heroes who came after him even and then he runs away. Him fighting with Izuku was a testament to how desperate he was to attain his goal and you will hear the character say this. Last fun fact, Gentle and Labrava are featured in the school festival arc's ending animation with Labrava hiding in the background and Gentle being next to one of his old classmates. At this point, let's talk about what these characters do for the story of My Hero Academia. Gentle continues an idea that was started in the provisional license exam, that being the idea of what happens to someone who fails the license exam one too many times. With Gentle, we see that potential playing out in real time, watching his hopeless fall into crime. By extension, he also serves as a bad ending for Izuku, which Izuku himself confirms. If you want more about that topic, I've spoken about it before on the channel. Uh, point is, with Gentle, he is the Izuku that failed. The Izuku Izuku that ruined a rescue operation, the Izuku that didn't get a quirk and was in new way floundering. Following from that, Gentle also shows the problem with just letting people use their quirks willy nilly. It's the judgement call. You don't want people with untested judgement getting involved in high stress situations with life on the line. Another story purpose that Gentle serves is that he's the character that introduces us to the other historic villains like Destro. You gotta appreciate the man for that. One more thing that's interesting in Gentle's story is how his family was ostracized following Gentle's botching of a rescue. It was one panel, but it was interesting to see how even in the era of the symbol of peace, society itself is still full of dicks given the graffitiing of Gentle's family home. La Brava herself, I think, while not giving us the same weight of the storylines to follow as Gentle does, I think is the one to watch in the future. When you see La Brava's involvement, it's clear that she's being set up to be useful in the future with her hacking skills. The other minor idea that I think is brought up with her is the idea of how does society deal with people whose quirks might influence their thoughts. For instance, La Brava's quirk is based on love and she has extreme reactions to love in general. So much so that Gentle is sure Labrava will go on to commit worse crimes if he doesn't curb her at the critical moment. What do you think if you know about the situation? All in all, Gentle and Labrava are a cool pair that I can't wait for anime fans to see. For me, they represent the moment that Izuku acted the most like All Might when he was quite literally a wall that Gentle well, hit multiple times. I have a lot of high hopes for Gentle. On paper, he may have flunked, but his partnership with Labrava and his mastery of his quirk, I believe, will at least make him valuable in combat operations. Labrava, on the other hand, is naturally valuable with her extreme hacking. Even the cops admit that. Uh, let me know what you thought of these, though. But otherwise, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video, and thanks for supporting the channel. Till next time, I hope you have an absolutely great day, and keep an eye out for more My Hero Academia content.